Welcome to our Life House Kids program! We're so excited to see you today! So together, let's stand up and worship God! Ready? Let's go! For this week's Bible verse, let's read Exodus 2.10. The baby grew and after some time, the woman gave the baby to the king's daughter. The king's daughter accepted the baby as her own son. She named him Moses because she had pulled him from the water. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this amazing day. We pray that you would speak to us through your message today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey everyone, it's Curious Kate. Today, we're gonna learn about a person named Moses. He was born during a very tricky time and it was hard to be a baby then, but God had an incredible plan for Moses' life. Let's learn about it in the Stories of the Bible. Stories of the Bible, Baby Moses. This is Moses. Hey all. Moses was a descendant of Joseph's brother, Levi. Joseph and his brothers had many children and grandchildren who lived happily in Egypt. Eventually, a new pharaoh came to power who knew nothing of Joseph or what he had done. This pharaoh feared the Israelites because there was a great number of them living in Egypt, so he wanted to put a stop to their prosperity. Pharaoh made the Israelites slaves. He made them work long, hard hours building up Egyptian cities. But his plan didn't work, and the Israelites grew more in number and in strength. Eek. So Pharaoh made a rule that no Israelite boy would be allowed to live in Egypt. This is where Moses' story begins. You see, when Moses was born, his mother saw that he was a special baby. Hmm. And she kept him hidden for three months. <laughs> but when she could no longer keep him a secret, she made a basket and put him in the Nile River among the reeds. Moses' sister stayed to watch what would happen to her baby brother. And soon the pharaoh's daughter came to the edge of the river. When she saw the basket, hey. she sent her servant to get it. When she saw the baby, she felt sorry for him, uh -huh. thinking he must be an Israelite baby who wasn't supposed to live. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Then Moses' sister asked the princess if she would like her to find an Israelite woman to take care of the baby. Uh -huh. So Moses' sister went and got her mother. Moses' own mother took care of him until he was old enough to live in the Pharaoh's house, where the princess adopted him as her son. And so, Moses, an Israelite boy who wasn't supposed to live, became the adopted grandson of the Pharaoh and lived in the palace as God prepared him for a great destiny that was only just starting to unfold. So cool, Moses' mom put him in a basket and floated him down the river to keep him safe. Whoa, and then the princess of Egypt found him and raised him in the palace. Later, God picked Moses to help free the Israelites from Egypt. Like Moses, let's pray for God to protect us from bad things happening and to live in God's wonderful plan for our lives. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for protecting me. I want to walk in your plan for my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's talk to those around us. What do you want God to protect you from? Hmm, for me, I want God to protect me from sickness and I want to stay healthy. And how about you? For today's activity, let's make baby Moses! First, get a piece of paper and then draw on a picture of baby Moses like this! Next, get a piece of tissue paper and wrap and fold it around baby Moses just like this. And then lastly, after you put baby Moses into a cupcake paper like this, you're done! Ta-da! And let's remember together God's plan and how He protected and guided Moses in His life. And so why don't you try this and we'll see you next week! Bye-bye!